Damore addresses that there are biological differences between men and women. According to 80s comedians, do you ever notice how women drive... You know, I'm just, I'm just going to spare everybody the act out. And, and yes, biology is important to address. You know, biology and genetics do factor into our actions and how we develop. My biology means that if I dreamed of being a firefighter, it's probably not going to happen. I can't lift a full adult human, and I sweat very quickly when there's a temperature shift. And then I complain. Okay, so that last part doesn't really have anything to do with my biology. That's more of the fact that I'm being difficult because I want ice cream. And I'm fairly certain that firefighters frown upon taking ice cream into the middle of a burning building. It's just a dick move. Damore goes on to say that these biological differences, which include hormones like prenatal testosterone, can determine why there aren't that many women in tech. Sometimes when you're coding a complex algorithm, boobs do get in the way. Sometimes they're so big you can't even see the screen. And these biological differences also affect our personality. He brings up the fact that women tend to be more empathetic and tech jobs are more about systemizing, which is geared towards how men think. Empathy is the ability to see how others feel, and systemizing is about analysis and construction. This leads women to work in the more creative and aesthetic end of the tech world, but I don't think you need to be either a man or a woman to like pretty things. I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? A nicely designed web page or an app makes me want to put some icy hot on my balls. Look, I'm an empathetic male, and I know plenty of women who are analytical and constructive. I call them ex-girlfriends. Arguments in relationships usually wind up being an analysis of each other's personality and faults, and they usually lead to crying and admitting that you just wanted your dad to hug you on your birthday, and both genders do this. He also claims that women are generally more gregarious instead of assertive. And he also says women tend to be more agreeable. Yes, men, if you will. Something about that feels odd in this situation, doesn't it? He also says women are more, more likely to be neurotic and have high anxiety. But the thing about mental illness is uh, it, it doesn't really care what your genitals look like. So... Assigning gender roles based on generalizing biology doesn't fully make sense. Critical thinking and compassion don't only come from the release of hormones. They're also connected to the environment and experiences. But I get it. If with a sample size of 7 billion, certain traits pop up more often in certain genders. But if we are to progress, we can take action against this idea for the betterment of our species. Look, I think looking at biology in terms of gender disparity is important. If we want to be progressive and forward-thinking, we should identify these biological roadblocks and then develop uh, certain systems that work with them. That's empathetic and systemizing. Until then, I think we're just going to be worried about who does what better and continue to isolate ourselves. And yes, going against your own biology is really hard. But it's possible for us to defeat our own biology. Defeating your biology is called evolution. It's a long process, and it takes a, a ton of time and a metric ton of patience to achieve. But just ask the fish that started walking on land. I bet a bunch of their friends called them crazy and fired them from the swim team for trying to do something different. <laughs>